Uh oh. We have some water coming out of the bathroom vent. As you can see, there's already wet on the edge. Let's see what's going on. These vents covers are easy to pull out. Ooh, ooh. And uh, just squeeze the ones in. Here we go, you squeeze these one in. And they have a little tiny slot in there. Wow. I pulled the other one out, but. This area is pretty wet. The drywall is pretty wet. Inside the metal, the metal housing is dry. So the water is coming from between the drywall and this vent, the, the metal housing. Wow. Okay, let's see what's causing that. So in order for us to look into the problem, we have to access into the attic. Luckily, I do have access to it right next door to it. This is the washroom. This is a walk-in closet. And we do have this opening on the top. It's pretty dark. Turn on the flash. And reposition myself. So it's a little hard to say. This, a big pipe going to the roof. I think that is our furnace exhaust. And I don't know where that's from. But I do feel a lot of the moisture sitting in there. And I can't just go that far to access the that little pipe there. This must be where the exhaust fan is going to. And we just had a whole week of the winter, the cold snap. We've been sitting at minus 30 level for the whole week. I think a lot of condensation we've been putting out. And that must be building inside this attic. And it's probably finding the, finding the place to come down. And uh, yeah, that's, I can even feel there's a little crystals flying around, like all the, the moisture crystals. Half a day later, the water dripping has stopped, but I didn't leave a watermark on the ceiling. I think the cost of it is um, we've been running portable humidifier on top of the whole house humidifier in the last week when it's minus 30 outside. And we'll be trying to increase the humidity up to 35 to 40 level. Um, and that put out a lot of humidity and that built up the ice inside the attic. So today, we had a temperature spike, which is 30 degrees increase from the last week. So a lot of the ice started to melt and all the humidity we put in before, now it's become water, trying to find a way to come down. So I think it's inevitable if I was keep doing this humidifier in the house. For future reference, I think I should reduce my target of humidity. Just keep it at the 30% level. I think that should be good. And that should not cause any more leak. Other than that, I don't think anything I can do about it.